Welcome back to the online video course. Today is part one of two where we will talk about child protection. Even though you might not have children, it is important to know about this subject. I am pleased that you are still taking part in this course and hope and pray that you are making progress. No one escapes the obvious addiction to erotic pictures and sex videos. We are confronted with the contents everywhere on the internet. Pornography does not regard families, relationships, fellowships or churches. The porn industry is led by a very influential and aggressive lobby which is out for profit and power. Often actors are victims, often people in need who unwillingly let their bodies be used to earn money. Basically, they sell themselves. The producers of pornography are only out to gain more and more customers and so to become wealthy. To reach that goal, they start early. Youngsters in the early stages of sexual maturity are future customers. Officially, of course, the industry says that only adults should view pornography and not youngsters. Why then, I ask you, are 50% of the consumers of pornography under the age of 18 years old? Pornography is often the first glimpse of sexuality that youngsters have. It is often the first sex education that they get. Parents and teachers come second to the porn industry. Do you want your child to learn about sexuality from the porn industry? It is being done at this moment. I do not want that as a father. So I have to begin to speak about sexuality with my children at an early age before others do it. Do not watch a pornographic video with your child to explain what is happening and forget the birds and bees stories. That all will not be helpful. People often miss out on discovering sexuality for what it really is. Instead, sexuality is overpowered by pornography. The beauty of fulfilled sexuality is lost and we are left in the fake world of pornography. It is sad because sexuality is something special, precious and intimate. Do you know that the youngest case we have had was a five-year-old who discovered pornography? The youngest who was addicted to pornography was a six-year-old who could not get away from the material on the internet. He found out how to access pornography on the internet from the older siblings. It is time to take the protective cover off our children and face reality. The world outside does not care about our children. We, therefore, as parents, have to be alert and active and not leave it to others. It is important to tell children about sexuality at an early age without overwhelming them with details that they don't understand and do not really want to hear. It begins with the subject of birth. Some think that you should start talking about what happens before birth. How do I approach the subject of my child and his and her sexuality? What message am I giving my child? Changing a child's nappy or diaper, especially if it has diarrhea and it is smelly, how do I communicate that? You've done it again, disgusting, or some other comments like this. It is important to handle the subject of sexuality playfully, with humor in a, and in a way that a child can understand. Sexual organs should be called by their correct names in a relaxed way, but with the necessary responsibility that goes with it for the child's sexuality. Explain that sexual organs are part of the body, just like eyes, fingers and ears. They are not any less important or bad, but are a private part of them where no one is allowed to step over the boundaries. There are good children's books with pictures of puzzles where puzzle pieces are shown to fit together to show how sexuality functions without going into miniature detail. The time will come, and it should be early enough, when you should speak about the other world the world of pornography. This is important 
because children will sooner or later come upon it. They should be able to sort in and understand what they are seeing here and to understand that it has nothing to do with sexuality. It is important that children should know that this world also exists and that it is explained in a way appropriate to their age. We want to point them in the right direction, give them the necessary tools for their journey in life. Children should grow up knowing the responsibilities entailed in sexuality. If they are properly prepared and their personalities are strengthened and know how things work, they will, will then be able to see things as they are. Then there will be a no poor soil or bad seed to germinate. It is a help to speak about your own experiences and to speak honestly without overwhelming them with your own stories. It is important to leave the doors open for open communication between you and your children. We need to tell the children how important it is not to display their sexuality on the internet and to understand what is private and what is not. Web 2.0, the interactive internet, is a world where everything is possible, uploading photos and videos of oneself. Things that are put on the internet are almost impossible to raise from the net. The digital footprints are on the net forever. Is it really necessary for your young children to have a smartphone or an internet connection? I would urge you to wait as long as possible. When the door is once opened, it is almost impossible to shut it again. Perhaps you are thinking that all the children in your child's class have smartphones and my child does not and it is hard on him or her. This is exactly where you need to strengthen your child and help it to cope with the challenge of group pressure and to help it to understand that it is not defined by what others think and what it possesses. Your child will be confronted with other things later on in life where it will have to say no. So the smartphone is just the first learning curve. I keep hearing people say that children have to be media competent or don't install child protection software on your computers because children can override it easily anyway. These messages come to us directly or indirectly from the industry. A child will not become media incompetent or miss out on something in life if it does not have a smartphone at a young age. We have to protect our children from the enormous flood of information that they just cannot process. Our children should not become the target group of commerce and the industry. Whilst on the subject of the internet software for children, our website has a good program for PCs and smartphones which protects them whilst surfing. This is not so easy to override in spite of what people say. It also allows children to surf safely the net when they are older, as well as adults in the family who can also surf in a relaxed way without pornography or other questionable material suddenly appearing. These were a few points which I know will help to protect your child and to deal with the subject of sexuality. My wife and I have three children and we have tried many things and have learned in spite of our many failures that we got it quite right in the end. May you have wisdom, sensitivity and courage to address these issues. In part two we will show you other tools that will help you on your way. Come again soon and keep pressing on.